Hey, good afternoon once again, Bobcat Band and Falcon Band. Now this next one is going to be focused on, again, in the Essential Elements 2000 book. This is going to be number 59, fit to be tied. It should be on page 14, all right? So open it up to that page. Now there's a technique I want to teach you all. It's called ties, right? You'll, you could see it at the top of your page. There's a yellow section that's labeled tie. And in that description, it says, a curved line connecting notes of the same pitch. Play one note for the combined counts of the tied notes. Now, when you use a tie, it's gonna look like a slur. A lot of you have seen a slur, right? Slurs tell you to not articulate the note and to play smooth. Um, for example, ta If there was no slurs, it would be ta 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 for ties, it's a little different. You're actually adding notes together. Usually you see ties that connect the same pitch. For example, if there are two Fs in a row, you use a tie to connect them to combine the value of their notes. So you can see in the example, after the description, there are two quarter notes that are tied together. A quarter note equals one beat. When you put two quarter notes together, that makes two beats. One plus one equals two right uh, now you might be asking yourselves well we already have a note that has two beats right and that's a half note well sometimes we use ties um, uh, when we're connecting measures together because if you see on a bar line out of a measure you can't put a half note there right sometimes you want to play from beat four to beat one and the way you do that is with a tie You'll see that in examples in the future. So, um, on number 59, fit to be tied, let's look at it. There you are. That's why it's named tied, because there's a lot of ties throughout the, uh, the tune. Um, you're going to see a series of notes that you have half notes followed by tied quarter notes. Right? Tied quarter notes together, two beats. Half notes also have two beats. So, the rhythm is going to sound identical. The pitch is going to be different though. So looking ahead, you have some half rests. We are in 4-4 time. Now, uh, I would say, sight reading it about this tempo, right? That's the focus of these lessons is sight reading new music, something you've never seen before, getting really good at just reading, just the way you do reading paragraphs, sentences, words in a book, right? You want to be able to read it the first time. So at this point, I want you to pause the video, but have this tempo locked into your head. Two, three, four, one, two. So go ahead and pause the video and you're going to sight read it by yourself. Okay, ready? Pause. Boonk. Okay, how did it go? Were you consistent with the tempo? That's really important when you're sight reading. Even if you make a mistake on a note, if you crack a note like this, right? You don't let that affect the notes that are after that. You keep playing, right? And be consistent with the tempo. Now this time we're gonna play it and I'm gonna play it with you. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. And there you have it. That's fit to be tied. If you want to play it again along with me, just rewind the video a little bit. That's the luxury of these videos. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell to see all videos that get uploaded on a daily basis. All right. If you want to look over on Mr. Dooley's videos as well, do that now, especially if you're a seventh and eighth grader, because today he focused later on in the book, more advanced stuff. We're going to alternate each day. So take care. Keep playing.